Welcome back to our channel. This is a, an API that I've been trying to develop, uh, basically using a, a GitHub because it's a free resource and you can have collaboration and so many things. But I've realized my method of work has been so manual. I'm trying to create endpoints on my API and these will uh, be outputting uh, districts and in each district we'll have particular sub-counties and in each sub-county we'll have a parish, we'll have a sub-parish and then eventually we'll have a village uh, tailored to that particular, um, um, in, into the API. However, I've found out that we need more than that. I just don't need to have this only open-ended but I should be able to have a number of endpoints where someone can query just one of, of any of these items. So um, I've realized that WordPress has a very good REST API in built in it uh, already. It has things like uh, that I can customize and make my own endpoints, just like how WooCommerce has managed to make its own endpoints. Um, in a nutshell of what I'm going to be doing is I'll create my own namespace, which is different from what WordPress is because that's the recommendation, but I'll be able to shoot off um, parts like what WordPress has here. So in the WordPress namespace, we have a, an endpoint for posts and once you query that by adding posts onto your URL here, you'll find that you're able to get the links, the title and other content that is available for you from the endpoint itself. And what I'm going to do also is I'm going to use what we call must use plugins. Um, usually you have um, the, the, the option of deleting and activating, but with these particular plugins, that will be all set in stone. There's nothing to delete or remove because I want that particular action to be working across all themes that will be put on this particular API um, backbone. So at the end of the day, we'll have districts and counties and parishes and I'm going to be using taxonomies that are inbuilt in WordPress and then at the end of the day I can have anyone who can just do any word processing to just input the villages and attach them to districts and counties which will be sortable and so we'll be able to create a number of endpoints at the end of the day. So we'll be able to get what we wanted here but much faster, much cleaner with very few errors but also um, quite faster than usual. So we'll be able to extend it because WordPress is a very extendable. If I wanted to add something like size onto each village, I am able to just do that by adding a meta box to each one of those posts, post types. So I hope to see you. I hope that you'll be able to enjoy this. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe because there's very many interesting things that are going to come up. And then you can like this video if just to let me know uh, what you think about this particular series and what you would like to see in it. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.